everybody, it's your old pal Merlin, back with you again to talk more about Squarespace 6. Some of the things that I like a lot is the third in this series. Uh, last one was about content collections. Today, we're gonna talk about widgets, the little bits of content you put on your actual pages uh, to bring out the inherent, uh, I guess, sexiness of Squarespace. Uh, so uh, go and sign up for one of these accounts so you can do this with me. Uh, otherwise, this is just gonna be computer stuff and there's lots of that out there already. So be sure to go to squarespace.com slash back to work and uh, sign up for your free account. Uh, so uh, let's jump in. Widgets are really where this all uh, starts to come together. Uh, this is where you take bits of content from your own site, from the internet, uh, and you just start putting it into this little layout engine area in the configuration area of your site. So I'm logged in, as I hope that you are logged in. Remember, greatest trick in the world, hit escape to move between your configuration view and the live view of that page. As you can see, I'm on a totally boring made up page uh, for a demo. Hit escape again, takes me from the live view to my logged in configuration view. Pretty great. Uh, let me start by deleting this one from last time. And let's look at what you can do with blocks. So I'm starting out with a literally blank page on my blank page. And if I click the add block button up here, you'll see I get this little pop up. And you'll see that there are all kinds of widgets in here. Uh, I won't go through all of these because you can kind of look all these up, but text, markdown, image, galleries, codes, audio, uh, stuff from amazon.com. You can drop in an item. We'll do a bunch of these in a sec. These are all kinds of things that you would add in ad hoc anywhere you want to put stuff on a page. I should also mention I'm doing this on a page, but you can also do, to my knowledge, I think all of this stuff also inside of any blog post, which is really handy. If you want to put in a video, you want to drop in an image, all the stuff you're going to see here, to my knowledge, all works inside a blog post. I'm using it right now and it's great. So inside this add a block area, this first area called content is the stuff you're probably going to use the most. And this is where you would think about, you know, adding things to a page, text being the obvious one. But as you'll see in a sec, there's lots of other stuff you can do. The other area, the second tab here is structure. These are all things, if you've ever had a blog before, you're familiar with these sorts of things. Show me an index for these entries. Show me all my uh, social media links. You can add a search. Uh, this should all look pretty familiar. And then there's a whole tab dedicated to social. Uh, if you've logged in with Squarespace to your various social sites, you can display that content on the page of various kinds. But uh, let's start out by just looking at content. And do the most basic kind of block that you can do, which is a text block. So let me just drop in. I'm just going to paste in some text I've got here. And as you can see, I get this nice little WYSIWYG interface. So I just pasted in some basic text. If I stopped right now, I don't have to do anything to it. Hit escape to look at the live view. You'll see that the stuff that I put in is now up. There it is. But let's go ahead and format this a little bit. 100% WYSIWYG, nothing to worry about, nothing fiddly. We'll make that an H1. Fella, I want to tell you about, we'll make that into bold. Uh, let's make the dude into a link. Naturally, that'll be a 43 folders link. That was text expander. Uh, don't be freaked out. And uh, you get the idea. It's that easy to go in and have your stuff show up. That's the most basic. Using a nice WYSIWYG, you get all that stuff that shows up really fast, really easy. Uh, again, for folks who don't love playing with HTML all day, this is a really great way to go. Now, if you are a nerd and you're like me, you might want to add a block of markdown. And Markdown is, uh, well, you know what Markdown is. You're not a jackal. So let's say I want to add a Markdown block. Let me grab some text for this. Let's say, I'm going to grab these guys. And we're going to add a block. So I guess I already did that. Let's go to this one. Add a block of Markdown. Paste it in. Now, wait a minute. What's going on here? As you can see, you see all this crazy code highlighting? If I go back to edit this other field, you see I don't get all the crazy code. Sorry, it's the uh, El Terrible. So it's a really loud streetcar. Uh, I, I get the WYSIWYG when I'm in the text area, but when I go into my markdown area, look how it pops into this code view where my header, my H2 in this case, has code highlighting. All of my list items are honored. Anything I've made bold it is not only uh, bolded, it's, it's shown in bold. Ditto for italics. And again, once I click outside of that area, I get in this in this basic configuration view, you can already see uh, what this looks like in its most basic kind of unstyled uh, way. Now to go see what that looks like live, I hit escape, go over here, and I might go, oh, that's right, I want uh, the Donnie Nealis line to be in H1, easy enough. And I'm just telling you, buddy, living in Markdown is about the best. All I have to do is take off one of the Octothorps, look it up, and now I've got an H1. It's that easy to do. I think that's pretty terrific. 
So text block, markdown block, these are ones that you're gonna be using a lot. Uh, let me delete this one to make a little bit of extra room here. And let's look at some of the other stuff. Uh, boy, one that you're gonna be using a lot, adding an image. Again, click on add block. All you gotta do is click to add an image and look what you get. You get this great little pop-up. You probably saw this in the last one of these. Uh, let's say we want to drop in this uh, lovely image from my desk that I will blasphemously call the Holy Trinity. And look what's happened. It's pulled in this photo for me, right? I could say when you click on it, open a light box, meaning you know do that little pop-up deal. And again, you can see here, WYSIWYG, if I want to add a caption for it. And now look what I've got. I've got this great looking image right here on the page, right below this text. Pretty great stuff. Uh, and so let's uh, look at a couple other blocks. Let me show you one other thing as long as we're here. I think it's pretty great. You can go in and if, it, if, it, if that image ever has to be cropped or reduced in size for responsive design, you can change the focal point of where uh, the content you want to always make sure shows up in the picture. It's a really handy thing. Um, let's do something a little sexier. Let me show you this thing. So you see how we pulled, we clicked in and added an image. Well, what if I want to put a widget on a specific place on the page? In this case, I don't want to put it below this image. Let's say I want to put in uh, let's say an embed for a video. Look what happened. Did you get what just happened? I just went to add a block. I told it to drop an embed in and I told it where I wanted it to go. I said insert. So it's going to insert that between these two areas. And look what I get. All I have to do is add the URL for any kind of a site that does embeds. In this case, I'll link to this funny video somebody did. Simple as that. Hit save. And I have now added a video to the page, and that will play the video. I won't put you through that. But you can see that's really that's how easy it gets. Now, if you had a preference to put in a, uh, a full-on uh, code instead, there's other ways to do that. But just linking to something on something like Vimeo or YouTube will allow you uh, to have your video displayed right on the page. Super easy. Now, when you want to get if you want to get rid of something, all you got to do is double click on it and hit remove, and it comes right off the page. Pretty neato. Let's uh, really quickly just do a couple other ones. I'm sure you're getting the basic idea of this. Uh, let's say, for example, I wanted to, oh, let me do one embed. This is really great. Let's say I wanted to do an embed of a funny toot somebody did. In this case, the infamous John Roderick Hilton toot. I'm, uh, I'm just linking. See, all I'm doing is linking to a Twitter toot. And that shows up right on the page. See, I can move it around. We're going to do a lot more than moving around in the next one. But you see all I'm doing? I'm just dropping that in. If I want to change that, I can change what it links to. If I want to put in a different full embed code, it'll take care of all of that for me. I can edit that right in here. All WYSIWYG, all drag and drop. Let's hit escape to go to the live view. And you'll see it has put in our toot. And it has even formatted it in this lovely way. I think that's pretty awesome. Um, what's another good one to do? Let's just do a couple more. I just want you to get your head around this idea of how easy it is to put this stuff in. Here's another one. Uh, it would not be unusual for people to want to put their, uh, their Twitter toots onto a page. Let's say I want to, in this case, put in my own Twitter items. And I'll say, please show me the last, let's say just the one item. And it'll actually be about this screencast, oddly enough. And look what it did. It's showing my toots right there. If I want to say instead show four of them, It'll show four of them. Let's say I want to move it up to where I was up here. I can just grab it. Let me scoot this up. <clears throat> move this up to be above here. And there it goes. And then you can also start to see how you might want to incorporate other elements. Like let's say I want to put in a markdown block right above here that's called my toots. It's that easy to go in and put text right above it. Let's say I want to add another block. In this case, that is Roderick versus Hilton. And you can see how easy this is to do. Hit Escape to go look at the live view. And it is all there. One last example before we just get into the really sexy stuff in the next one. I keep saying that, but really this is all sexy. If you don't think this is sexy, you need to change your whole notion of what sexy is because this is pretty amazing. Uh, let's maybe add, uh, just for fun, let's add one more. Let's say we wanted to go in and add a link to a collection link. Now these are really great. As we saw before, this is where you can go in and represent a collection, which could be a blog, it could be a page, it could be anything. In this case, 
I want to have my Squarespace 6 blog show up in here as a collection. Let's say I want to move it up to here, or let's say you want to move it up to here. Now, why is this a cool thing? Because now, as easy as that, hit escape to go to live view, it's utilizing all that collection information I put in to create this area. Merlin Man's, Merlin Squarespace 6 blog. There it is. If I click there, it will take me to the actual page. And there it is. Meta, meta, meta. Am I blowing your mind? Uh, just to wrap up this one little quick bit, let's look at a few more of these just to give you the idea. You're getting this though, right? All you have to do is click that little dingus and you can add any kind of stuff that you want to a page. If you want to add a gallery to this page, it's this easy. All you got to do is go there. Yep. Let's go have a gallery and let's say grab these images. All I'm doing is going to my, if you just saw there, I tabbed over to my desktop. I'm just dragging, just dragging this stuff in there and look what it does. See those little gears? It's uploading all of those images and making this lovely gallery of stuff. Let's say I want that right now. It's a grid. I could also have it be, I like a slider or a slideshow. I could have a slideshow, make it autoplay, auto crop the images as needed and save and look what we got there we got ourselves a fancy slideshow hit escape to go over here now i know that none of you are as old as i am obviously but that used to be a real pain in the butt to do to go and create one of those sliders used to be such a pain and you know what used to be even more of a pain is once you had it on the page being able to do anything with it this is just a little bit of taste of what we're going to be doing in the next one. But once you've got these widgets on a page, you can scoot them around, you can move them however you want, and you can basically create your own layout just by dragging these things around. That's really all there is to it. If I wanted to have, if I wanted to have, for example, I wanted to take this image and have it appear a little higher up here, I could have that be a column over there. Let's say I actually want this image to float next to this text. It's as easy as doing that. Hit escape. And that was all just dragging and dropping, gang. That was as simple as that. And I am building a page just by dragging stuff around. We're going to get into more of this in, uh, in the next one. But you've got to spend some time looking. Oh, that is a handsome man. You've got to spend some time looking at these, uh, these blocks. This is the best thing ever. Uh, it's uh, This works, like I say, this works inside a blog post. Oh my God, that's just too much. I, I literally can't look at this. Uh, it makes it so easy to build your site. This layout engine stuff is amazing. Uh, any of these changes I want to make, it's all just a drag and drop affair. And then maybe best of all, one of the coolest things, it's all a responsive design. And all that means is that whether you're on a phone or whether you're on your desktop, it will change the size of all of this stuff to look good at any size including adding the menu, fixing the size of that stuff. It all looks fantastic. So we're going to look more at these uh, little widgetized blocks in the next one. I really have to stop looking at these photos. It's completely, I look really, really old. Please go to squarespace.com slash back to work and sign up and try some of these things. Uh, and uh, if you want, stop by uh, merlinm.com slash s6. You can uh, leave a polite comment on these videos. You can make requests. Uh, squarespace.com slash back to work. Uh, come back for the next one. It's going to be uh, how to uh, do some more of this sexy layout stuff with widgets. I think you're really going to like it a lot. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, I love you. God, just so much. Mm -hmm.